all get myself ready here. Hi, it's Jamie. Welcome to Glowing Beauty with Jamie. Today I am going to be opening my boxy charm, October boxy charm. Joys. And hi Lou! Both you ladies. Oh my gosh. Um <laughs> Never too late to group. And it does help because I can kind of watch high smudge group. I can watch people's videos. And by the time mine comes, I've totally forgotten what was going to be in it. So we're going to bring in this. I call this my um, mystified look. I have to say, we got this in BoxyCharm a while ago, and I've been loving it. The only problem I find with it is the bottle is colored, right? So if it's in your bathroom, it's hard to tell how much you have left. That always bothers me because as you know, when you suddenly you're out of something, it is annoying to me. So let's see what, whoop, what I can break. <laughs> okay. Oh, and this is the announcement of the Bitter Boxy Charm. I only heard about this. I watched Rose's video early or earlier over on Beauty Boomer. Make sure you go subscribe. I'm going to put a link to her channel in the description when I'm done. We need to get her to 1,000 views, people. I love the pineapple. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get the bigger Boxy Charm or not. Um, also, today... I'm drinking pumpkin spice cold brew because that video is going up on my second panel on how to make your own. So all these people I see that are like freaking out because it's not Starbucks anymore. Tune in. You can make your own. Okay. So I'm going to look and see what's in here. I have a big bottle of, why are you wearing my panda ears? Stick Bart. <laughs> He's downstairs. <laughs> He's going to pop in, but they're out in the truck. So I told him to bring that. <laughs> High poison is. <laughs> it's kind of a weird feeling knowing that, like, he's downstairs watching. It's like he's in the same house and he's watching. And... I know, babe. These panda ears usually only come out at night. No. <laughs> you don't. Lou, you don't like pumpkin spice? I thought we bonded. I thought we shared. <laughs> And yes, I'm a nervous person. I've already picked off half my manicure. But anyway, first item is the Iconic London Prep Set Glow. My goodness, I thought these. Water Mist Original. Shake well for even glow. Gently pull them away from your face with the eyes closed. That's important. Oh, smudge. <sighs> Apply the soothing mist before you moisturize. Oh, I've already moisturized, but rules are made to be broken. That's quite the top. Let's see what the mist is like first. It's got a gentle smell. Well, let's give it a whirl. I don't, it looks very glowy. I'm not sure. I need to get more into the glow thing, right? Because certain age glowing can kind of, you know what? I wish I could get rid of coffee every day, uh, but I can't. I shake it well, hopefully well enough. doesn't look like there's any sediment in the bottom, but it's too late now. I've sprayed it on my face. Yeah, I up. So my big hair, I call it my Texas hair. It's here to stay. Okay, so we got Iconic London Lip Insect Kitten. Well, oh, no, I don't think it's you, Poisonous. Uh, notification just popped up for a second saying my connection was unstable. It's because Bart's on there. Okay, so this is the color for, I don't know if I've tried any Iconic London. Um, lip plumper or lip products at all i know we got their eyebrow product one month loved that 
Um, there was something else I used to use for my Conic London that I liked, and I can't think of it off the top of my head. We also got Hollywood and Vine, Cold Crayon. Um, first impressions, this kind of looked like the dollar store NYC eyeliner. It's in black. Feels kind of hard, but it is a coal, so try that out. Pumping gloss. Yeah, mine looks like it's going to be a dark enough color, hopefully. Hopefully it's not too dark. Then we got the Mellow Tinted Brow Gel. Interesting. And it is in dark brown. Hmm. <laughs> We'll give it a whirl. I'm gonna do something different with my hair. Forgive me, my rose. I can't, I can't stop messing with my hair. I think I am gonna go pink. So, but, and last but not least, we have Blushing Berries Dose of Color Eyeshadow Palette. I have wanted to get a Dose of Colors Eyeshadow Palette forever. Um, every time, which is only what, like, three times in my life that I've been to Ulta. Um, for some reason, it's like usually my cart is so full. I don't know what happens. Oh, but I also ignore. Traveling does nasty stuff. Have us fill out the beauty forms. I know, right? Poisonous, I've noticed that a lot lately that some of the colors I've been getting aren't uh, anything to do with my, ooh. <laughs> I'm like a, I'm like a, dog, a squirrel, ooh, shiny. Isn't that pretty? Um, anything, aren't the right colors. Oh my God, that's beautiful. <gasps> oh, I love that. That is nice. Okay, so that was all that was in that month's boxy charm. So I've used the Iconic. Um, now I don't know if it's because I moisturized first, but it does feel tacky. So uh, who knows? We're going to try that. Anyway, now because I'm out of my most famous love, oh, I love that primer. What I've been using, throw it at you guys, is the NYX Pore Filler. Now I mentioned this quite a while ago. It is a very close dupe for, um, oh nice. It is a very close dupe for the Dr. Brandt. What I hate about it though is kind of a, uh, I don't know, like whipped texture. Did you see how it just, like, it just flies out. So then you end up having to pick up the little nuggets. <laughs> Unless you're very careful. So you got to really cup your hand and catch it all. So I don't have a mirror on my desk right now. So if it looks like I'm staring intimidatingly at you, my hubby think. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Bart being silly with his panda ear mug. I thought they were mine before, but these are <laughs> so Poisonous says hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, I'll let you go. Okay, Whatever. love you. Love you. <laughs> I love my man. Oh, Rose says hi, Bart. Hi, Rose. <laughs> M smudge. Hi. Hi, smudge. <laughs> it's not for now. I think it's not for now. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You know what is, it's crazy, right? Cause actually I should leak. This should be a big tell all as well. Um, Bart and I will have been married 10 years come January. Hi, Shinoa. And um, we've never had a fight. I don't know if that's normal or not. Like we barely ever had even a disagreement. I see this all the time, like on family vlogs. It's like nobody's that happy. I was like, well, Bart and I are. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's crazy. And I think one of the best things about marrying your best friend is he makes me laugh every day, right? Like he he does crazy stuff like this all the time. And I just I love him for that. So 
maybe on my second channel too, I'll have to do a guides to having a good marriage. Like I know what I'm talking about, but, but yeah. So anyway, yes, I love this primer. I hate the um, applicator, I guess. I wish it had the pump thing like the Dr. Brandt or I don't know. This just is not conducive to a clean application. <laughs> but you know what's funny is Bart is forever a child too, I think. And what's hilarious is people that don't know him, like he's a big burly biker guy, right? With his mustache and usually he's wearing his Harley shirt and stuff. And people see him and it's almost like, and then he has these staff cracks and jokes that it's hilarious. Anyway, enough about me rambling about my man. It is about communication. Um, I don't know what to use for foundation today, guys. So why don't I leave it up to you guys in the chat? Do we want Fenty Beauty, La Mer, Charlotte Tilbury, or Deep Femme Couture? I'm going to leave it at Fenty. That was the first answer. Okay. Now, the Fenty I have a love-hate with. I wore it the other day, and I loved it when I first got it. Oh, I'm bougie. <laughs> Lou, you're going to have to talk to Allie about that. Um, I Lately, it seems like it's settling into the lines a bit more than what I would uh, normally like. So... Did you do the foundation quiz? Uh, speaking of that, I got that email about the foundation quiz. And every time I went on to try to answer that quiz, it wouldn't let me answer. Because it, it tried to ask, like, uh, like what your shape map was for different brands. And it wouldn't, it never let me get through to actually give an answer. So, again, it's probably going to be... Uh, one of those get the complete wrong color. It's very light. I obviously, this is a winter, winter foundation. Like the coverage is nice. It's not drying. It doesn't feel cakey. But yeah, lately I just haven't. No, that's no good point. It's like, why don't they put the brand as an option if they're not going to give all the uh, choices? Crazy. BoxyCharm is um, like when you can't get to answer what product you want in your box or they send you the wrong product. And I'm going to let you guys know a secret here too. If you ever see me, which you forward for my brushes you'll know those are my go-to brushes <laughs> somebody mentioned something about that when i was talking to them they're like sometimes you're like looking on the side and it's like yeah it's because it's not a brush i use all the time. <laughs> so that's we'll fix it up bart is going to take me out for lunch later so Now, it's funny because I, some of you might know this, I never wore makeup, ever, ever, own makeup. And uh, it wasn't until I was getting married, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I guess I got to worry about this. Went to a Sephora, I think the first brand of makeup I got was Bare Minerals, and started wearing it. And uh, what if I was an option for that in the poreless? Hmm. So, oh, well, let's just keep going with this. Okay, so for concealer, should I use Jeffree Star in Steve's first answer? We'll let you guys do my faith. I know, I do, and there's still, I still go back to um, Beauty Boom or Y, which was the Y, J Star, okay. Um, I still go back to Mineral Veil. Vale. Although my favorite has been that cover FX. And again, we got that in Boxy Charm, right? So I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, let's see what kind of look we can get not using, this should be like a not using a mirror, especially considering that like this is my left, but it's like showing up on the wrong side. And I'm on the fence about it too. Um, I've used it pretty much every day since I've gotten it. Um, I love the cover FX palette. I've used it every day since I've gotten it. What fragrance should we go with today? Great fit. Uh, I can't remember what I paid for it. I did, hi Lisa. I didn't think it was overly, um, over expensive, but really not used it. But for me, like, I guess if I could find the absolute perfect, perfect thing, like even if it's the more, like the perfect concealer, if it was more expensive and then I won, oh, Lou, I'll take you on a tour of my beauty room if you want to talk about a lot of makeup. Um, yeah. <laughs> like on this side, I have, there's some drawers that are this high on this side, uh, this high, I have some behind me. But yeah, like if I could find that perfect thing and you only ever had to buy one, that would be great. But I'm still in this, I need to find the perfect, the perfect one, right? The one that's not going to settle or crease or cake or any, right? So, and for months I've been on a no slash low buy. So it's forced me to start using all this stuff that I've got, right? So, okay. So what do you guys want to, want to see me set this with? We've got the J-Star. Oh, this door sticks. And it's one of those, if you shove it, the whole kitten caboodle will go over. Um, okay, so we've got J-Star. We've got Becca. We've got Patrick Star. Which do you want to, me to use to set? It's actually a half nice day today. So if I keep looking outside, it's like, it's not snowing. So happy I got to meet you down in Houston. You are a doll. Patrick Star? Okay, Patrick Star. Um, I love this. I think there was a lot of hype to it. I'll admit that. It worked. It's great. Um, I like that there's a bit of a hint of color to it. I find some of the power powders that are white do give a white cast. J-Star powder. I, I haven't on review yet. I used it. I haven't formed an opinion yet, Poisonous. It, it's, it's nice. It's definitely nice. Um, but I haven't. Isn't it a fair enough wear test? Like you see, even this Patrick Star is a little bit white. I find that the Patrick Star powder is a little what's the right term? Not milk as funny as say the cover effects. So just things. No, I haven't. I've, I've tried it, but I haven't really given it a fair, fair test. So, right, poisonous. That's what I said when I started my channel. It's like I got so tired watching 16, 18 year olds tell me about skincare. A few different needs. So, okay, let's uh, this. let's go into this mellow brow product so so did you guys watch my last video <laughs> I was feeling silly it is oh when we were in Houston <clears throat> and that video got played I was like everyone's like oh somebody needs to do a parody so I'm like, I, love <laughs> I know so many views <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
And it took so many takes, right? Because at first I was in there, it's like before I got my hair wet and I'm like, no, that kind of, not to keep my own horn, but kind of looks good, right? So I wet my hair down and stuff. And I, was like, well, I look like a brown rat. It's like, well, I'm going to parody this. I'm going full on, like, cap, cap, whole nine. Oh, this is dark. Um, okay. We're going to make this work. So it was, you know what? If you can't laugh at yourself, there's no point in doing anything, I don't think. So... So I'm going to take a makeup remover because there is, a, I can tell, like, there's a lot of product on this. I'm going to give it a quick, oh. okay, let's get a hand mirror. This is going to be crazy. Oh, not terrible. Ah, oh, thanks, Lou. Okay, this isn't as bad as I thought. It is dark, but I think I can. My favorite is the Gerard Cosmetics brow bar to go, absolutely. Taking a bath. Oh my gosh, Maura, we're naked together. <laughs> yeah, see, and it's crazy because like I pulled everybody down in Houston and stuff. Nobody in my real life knows I do YouTube. How many people know how, how into makeup I am? Well, I've, one, I've told one person. Her name is Erin. She's the mom of one of my boy's friends. And she's a hoot. I should have her on my channel. Eating chicken soup. Okay. It looks really auburn. It looks really dark. Um, drinking beer. I'd love to be drinking beer too, but it is only 10 a.m. Another hour and we can get away with it maybe. Oh, okay. So it does smudge. So it's workable, I guess, in that. And I already powdered, damn it. So, oh, Nady said he's watching me. Hi, Nady. <laughs> oh, I love me. Like, Nady, Nady, you did make me cry. I told Carrie, I tried to put on this big uh, persona. Like, I shoot trap. I rebuild cars. I run a tractor. Yeah, and then I meet me and... Listen to this voice memo over your stream. Okay, he's texting me. So that's an audio message. Let's see if we, we can. I don't know how to get the volume up. Damn it, it expires in two minutes. How do I all this technology? making me cry um damn it did you guys hear it could you hear it where's my mic on this thing you caught me you couldn't hear it lou oh here there on there okay hey bitch we're laying in bed and we just wanted to say we love you so much so that's nick and nady oh my gosh could you hear it now If you didn't hear it, I'll replay it. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. Nick is fabulous. Well, I said it all in my video, right? And it's funny because, oh, this is horrible. Okay, I don't recommend this. This is horrible. I'm wiping it off. Um, people, I think the reason I got so many views is everybody was looking for somebody to spill the tea, right? And after I got back, I got so many messages in my DMs. Oh my God, spill a tea. How horrible is this person? What was, oh, somebody asked if um, Nick was doing drugs at the party. Um, there, like these questions guys were, 
and I didn't answer any of them. Didn't even like delete, gone. Um, oh, and I'm a clout chaser. I'm like, while I was there, I never posted a picture. I never did a video, but I'm a clout chaser. Really? So it was like, I don't know like, My truth is I was beyond honored to be there. Nick is the best host. So chill, so laid back. Baby. Makes me cry. Um, even Bart. I showed Bart the video Nady did for the boys. And the fact that Nady even texted me, um, Bart was like, it's so nice. I'm like, I know it's not clout chasing. I genuinely wanted to meet these people. And I consider, for, I have new friends in my life. And that has given me such a positive look and ideas. I have big ideas for my channel. Hopefully Nady is still listening because he's involved in some of this. So is Nick. So, okay, we're going to ignore what happened with those brows. Like, scooby do that away because it's horrible. Um, so it's not really going to be a full face. Paint pot. My Mac paint pot is completely drying out. <laughs> but I refuse to buy a new one. You're still there, Nadi, um, because Gerard Cosmetics is coming out with an eye primer, so I want to wait for that. But anyway, um, so Bart and I, you saw me talk about him earlier. We've been married almost 10 years. Our plan, because we got married in Vegas. I'll post some pictures on Twitter later. Back when I was thin and beautiful. Um, we got married in Vegas 10 years ago. So our plan always was to renew our vows in 2020. So I'm thinking I'm going to be inviting a few of the people from my party, not my party, from Nick's party, to my party when I renew vows. We're going to do Vegas. I don't know dates yet, but oh my God, to have Nadie sing me go, well, I would be a mess. I would cry more than I did on my actual wedding day. <laughs> Um, if I can find out, I think I do have the video of our wedding, and uh, I know it's on a CD, but how to get it from CD onto my iBook, technolog technologically challenged. Um, I would have a party during Stampede and invite them all. <laughs> but yeah, so that's, I don't know, I think it'd be cool. I don't think anybody would come, but oh my gosh, would that ever be fun, all these people in Vegas? And what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. So I got these in the mail from Boxy Charm. Don't know why, but cool. So here's me spilling. Go to the ranchman's girl. You're only four hours away. In Vegas, you better be there, Lou. Lou is gonna be one of my bridesmaids. Just so you know now. Did anyone use, I don't know. I don't even know if I have my um, my code posted in my description box. Oh, maybe send another video. Sending all of these audio messages and you know, let's see, what's this one? Did you say you're going to Vegas for we'll this? Yes. Say yes, because we'll be there then. Yeah, yes. We'll yes. Yeah. So you've heard it here. When I go and renew vows in Vegas, Nick and Nadie will be there. Oh, maybe they'll get hit. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would never do that to somebody. I used to hate that when everybody's like, oh, my God, when are you getting married? <laughs> I know. Listen to those hot daddies, right? Um, so, yeah, that's been our plan. And so after meeting all these people... I was like, you know what? These are my people. These are my family. And I need them to be at my wedding. Renewed wedding, renewing vows, whatever, in Vegas. That's what's going to happen. So, and you heard it here first. Nick and Nadie will be there for sure. So these are Moda brushes. Um, I have another Moda brush. This one, which is the BMX 430 Crease use this all the time. Love it. So I do like more brushes, but we're going to use 
there's like no name or number or anything. This one. <laughs> Did you get your box for this one? No, of course not poisonous. This is my October box. So there's not really a light color for base. So the other spilling the beans are my big plans. I said it on Twitter that I have big plans. This one's exciting, exciting, exciting. So if you remember a while back, Bart bought a 69 caddy. <laughs> it's gold, it's half pimped out. He's getting longhorns for the front of it. It is going to be the biggest, tackiest Cadillac in the world. And uh, <laughs> so summer of 2020, when the boys are out of school, we are doing a road trip. Not just a little road trip. We are hitting every state. And there's going to be certain YouTubers that I want to meet in each state. And we're going to just call it Cadillacson or something where we're going to sit in the caddy. I'm going to ask five questions to somebody and something like that. Pip my ride. So, so that's, that's the exciting plan. Of course, this is all just initial speculation or not speculation. It's in my book where I keep track of all my plans and ideas, but uh, I think that'd be amazing. And I don't want it to be big, huge productions. That's why I just want it like my camera mounted on the windshield, top down, sitting on the back, chat for 10 minutes and something like that. That's the plan anyway. I'm going to go into Virgin <laughs> for a base. This is, yeah, I can't do this just using my camera. Okay, uh, yeah, we're coming to every state poisonous. Bart is working on um, the route. So once we have a route figured out, then we can kind of figure out time for when we'll be in what state. Oh yeah, Cadillac convertible, 1969 Cadillac convertible, gold. It's gonna have the steer horns on the front. Gonna feel like I'm a Ewing on this road trip. Well, of course, every state and Rose. See, I've got to put together though who lives in what state, right? Like Rose, you live close to Nady, so depending on whether Nady's in his home state or whether he's with Nick. <laughs> oh, he's sending another message. Are you going to get an RV for your travels across the states? Because we're going to hitch along for a few. I would do that. We have an RV. We have a, I can't remember how many feet long it is. It's got like two bedrooms. It's like totally glamping. Two, three TVs. Like we've got a big fancy motorhome. But we'll have the caddy is going to be the, the bait kind of for the sit and talk down. But you can still come with us make you ride in the back with the kids. <laughs> but yeah, depending on where um, Nady is, you know, Rose and Nady could be together or maybe it's Nick and Nady together. Oh, young love. But yeah, so we are going to hit every summer of 2020. So not this summer vacation, next summer vacation that we're doing that and that is what I'm so excited about I've already I've got all the states listed alphabetically so I'm gonna have to get everybody to tell me what state they're in and I'm gonna meet with people and that's what I'm gonna do. I want to stay at your host Rose Carrie said you are such a fabulous host and you're by a beach so yeah that's the plan well, and Nick and Nady, if you're so wanting to stay in an RV, come visit me in Canada. <laughs> our RV, I always laugh because I always say, like, our house is pretty schnancy, schnanc whatever. But Bart and I have a queen-size bed. Our RV has a king-size bed. <laughs> our RV has some better advantages than our house. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. I'm going to go into this and start working up the crease. So with this fluffy, um, so Nick doesn't look, I know he is Canada. I, I've talked to him about that. Like he's just going to have to suck it up, cut it over it. <laughs> um, also, 
little fun spoilers. I know I've been talking about this for months, but um, so this whole we're moving, who knows when, I thought we were going to be moving to building a house right now. Nothing's actually started yet, but what we're building is um, <laughs> it's even more remote than where we are now. So it is quite literally middle of nowhere. But, but, <laughs> I love that you lived in Alaska, Lou. Um, but we have, we'll, we'll have so much land. A lot of city folk can't comprehend how much land is a section of land. Four quarters, like a section of land. Like, actually go hey Siri how what's the population of Houston for a quarter section I probably won't even know okay I found this on the web for how what's the population of Houston for a quarter section check it out um demographics I'm sorry I can't complete your request well how rude anyway a quarter section is like 360 acres kind of thing, like big. And we we haven't finalized our house plan. Yes, my Siri is a man. I didn't like, I don't know, the woman freaked me out. <laughs> but like where we want to build the house, it's kind of on the hill. There's kind of valleys all around. And there's um, ponds that's... What's his name? I don't know. What should we name him? I've never given him a name. He's just a known man. Um, there's ponds. Um, there's a great big lake on across the road. One, there's a cemetery on the land. I can actually, Panda. Um, I can actually, I, I'll film a video when I get up there because I can actually lay on the spot where I'm going to be planted when I die. I can do a video from there. Um, but, so we haven't finalized our house plan yet but we have finalized the guest house plan. So whoever comes to visit us, they're gonna have a dock into the pond, cute bedroom, loft, kitchen, bathroom, like their own little love nest, Nick and Nady. But will anybody actually come? I said, who knows? The problem is, is like, there's no Uber Eats or anything like that. You'll have to live with my cooking. Um, but you're out in the middle of nowhere. You have that much space to live your best life. Like we're going to have horses, miniature donkeys, cows, pigs, sheep, roosters, chickens, um, partridge, or not partridge, um, pheasants, rabbits, cats, dogs. Oh, this toast is done. <laughs> So yeah, we know we're, we've, we're, we're planning for our guests. We haven't finalized ours yet, but uh, yeah. So when we get moved, even though you're in the middle of nowhere, not a whole lot of anen anen amenities. Yes, Nady says he's gonna convince Nick to move in. My guest home with that. I'm 100% okay with that. Like you don't have to pay rent. Like, I love you guys so much. Just move in. We'll build it. <laughs> Come live in my guest house. So, uh, so, yeah, those are some exciting plans. But, like, all of this stuff, rural living at its best. And, you know, speaking of crap internet, yes, there's phone service. <laughs> so, where I live now, kind of rural. Like, it's only... 10 minute drive to town and town is size. It's, it's it's not as big as Calgary, but Calgary is only a half hour drive away. My internet sucks. When I try, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. When I try to upload a video, it takes upwards of four or five hours. Oh, there's two. I will move, but I need floor to ceiling windows. At least two stories. Yeah, it's a big enough living space that I can have a mask. Yeah, that's all in the cabin. <laughs> well, there, Nick, you're committed because the front of the cabin 
you walk out the door, it's got a nice front on veranda, and then a dock out over the pond. It's two stories because you have a little loft area too, which can be a gang area. There are floor to up windows to get the nice evening sun. The room is big enough to have probably two of your couches in. So, uh, you're <laughs> I'm going to go in with this color now. So there's so much stuff happening. And for the longest time, I was letting all of this crap stress me out. I am such a planner. And this trip that I took, seeing how laid back Nick was, gave me a whole new perspective on things. Like he was able to enjoy the party. If I would have been putting that party on, I would have been freaking out. I would have been worried. Hi, Robin. Worried about, like, is someone so here and there and this and that? And who needs this? And I, I wouldn't have been able to enjoy myself. Nick was just so laid back. Of course, Dee was looking after everything. <laughs> um, but seeing Nick so happy moving to Houston and so chillax and Nady is just so peaceful. So seriously, I need to emulate that. God, these are pretty nuts. So before it was like, oh my God, when are we going to move? I need a timeline. And then how do I get the kids' schools changed? And is there busing? And what school? And this and that and this. And oh, I have this plan. I like this about this plan. And oh my gosh, and this trip, like, which way are we going to go? Are we start going to go around? Are we going to go west? Are we get now I'm like, you know what? It's just going to happen. How it happens, when it happens, don't worry. Until the next thing comes up. <laughs> so that's, life is too short. And I had ulcers when I was, gosh, I think I was only 17 when I got diagnosed with my ulcers. Um, am I going in December? Oh, Lou, I hope nobody would ask me that. I'm not sure. I want to go. I feel like I need to go. Um, I just went on a trip. It's hard to get away when you have kids. Um, like if, if we knew Bart was going to be home, there'd be more of a likelihood. Um, flights from Canada going to the States aren't the cheapest, uh, I'm playing it by ear. If Bart's going to be home, when, we don't know the schedule right now. If he's going to be home, yes. Like, I can't even get my in-laws to watch the kids because they winter down in Arizona, so they won't be in Canada. So, I want to go. I need to go. I need to see my other family. <laughs> um, I'm not keen on this brush. It's very hard. Hard is good for things, not all things. <laughs> Nady, this is why you don't have kids. <laughs> it was probably Nick. Nady said the, the kids are old enough to look after themselves. Some kind of role model you are. It's funny though, I swear there are times like they are like Jack's turns seven on the 25th and Mason is eight and uh there are times where I'm like these boys are more mature than half the men I used to work with when I was working in oil and gas like I swear Rimmel London Stay sad and liquid lipstick is awful. Oh, well, I won't try it. No smudge. And it's crazy, right? So for me to fly to Houston is expensive. It's crazy is it's more expensive for me to fly from Calgary to Edmonton, which is like a two-hour flight. If I fly from here to say Newfoundland, it is like over two thousand dollars probably for me one way to fly. It, it doesn't take them with you. I might, oh, 
Nah. Don't offer things you're not ready to. <laughs> I remember flying home for Christmas time when I was in college, and it was insane how expensive it was to fly to fly to Grand Prairie. Look at me just dishing out all this personal info. No, <laughs> doxing myself. Who cares? So anyway. So that's where it stands is, um, I hope to go. I really, 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 really want to go. I need a glittery color. Let's go back in the job right here. Should we do, no, cotton candy is going to be too bright. Let's use a smudgy brush. Yeah. No, it's weird, right? Well, I guess it's not weird to remote locations, but oh, Prince George to Edmund would be ridiculous. Okay, let's go into Jawbreaker for an inner corner moment. So, yeah. Like, and it's funny because Bart has always been so amazing. Like when we had kids, you know, once a year, he would try to, try to always send me away. Like that's when we had good income, good job. He would always send away for girls to Vegas or something. And uh, loved that. And you know what? He offers all the time. And the number of times it's like, yeah, I'm going to go somewhere. And I back out. Because it's like I start overthinking, social anxiety, panic attacks, money, and all this stuff, and I don't go. So, with this trip down to Houston, it was hilarious because when I posted on Twitter, well, are you coming? I was like, am I really invited? Like, I just need anybody, nobody, like, what? And I, I text Bart right away, and I was like, okay, this is going on. I would like to go. And the answer back wasn't yes or no or anything like, I'd given him the dates and his response back was, I bought your tickets and you're so yeah, I have a fabulous hubby. But anyway, so I'm excited about what the future holds. That's where I'm sitting right now. And when I got all emotional and choked up in my video, that's what I would end is yeah, big shout out to Bart. Bart is fabulous. Um this trip. It was more than meeting people. It changes your outlook on things. It gave me so much more motivation, right? For this channel, for everything. I was just life-changing. He is an MVP. Um, so yeah, so Nick, Nady, you've changed my life. I hope you've ever did. I'm gonna use that black and this liner brush and we're gonna see what happens. Direct look. It's not all that pigmented. Hmm. It's okay, but it's not. Uh... Yes, thank you, Rose. Hit that like button. I loved. I didn't say I loved. I found it funny. All the dislikes on my video yesterday. I got a crud ton of views, or not yesterday, my last video. But I think these hate watchers, and I, I can figure out who the majority were. Um, they don't realize that that dislike button, it's engagement. So, thanks. <laughs> so, I'm on the lookout for a new mascara. I updated everybody in a video before, and I'll do it here. I was living and breathing for these two essence mascaras. Could not like use them every day. Loved them the best. For some reason, they started transferring up on my brow bone. They wanted you to say that the people at the party were awful. Oh, I know, I know. It was insanity. How, like. 
I, you know what? And I am, I'm, I'm so not a good drama channel or drama channel wannabe because I should have screenshotted that and like put it out there and stuff. But why am I going to waste my time with that negativity? It was just like, delete, don't care. Like, I'm not the one. I will never. And you know, like, and I've said this before in a live stream and it was terrible because I used you, Rose, as an example, but like, Rose and I are close. Like, I consider her, like, not going to do it. I consider her, like, a just such a near and dear friend, right? And at least we're not, I'm sorry, Smudge. Um, say we were texting back and forth for all my deepest, darkest secrets. And she told me all about her secrets. And together we helped carry her body. <laughs> then say, Rose and I have a falling out. I'm still not going to expose all that stuff. That's just not how I run. It's not how I'm wired, not how I live. It's what it is. So, so anyway, I need a new mascara. I have a ton. I wonder if I get this out. No, a lot of mascara. Let's be bougie again. Just to Lou. Let's try the goulon. I know. Like, I, at first I was like, why would they message me? Like, I'm a nobody. I'm tiny. But I think that's why they messaged me. They probably thought I was, like, so hungry for clout that I would just be so quick to spill some tea and bash people just to try to get views or subscribers or start some drama. And it's like... First off, there was nothing to spill. Second off, wouldn't if there was. And I say, like, really? I say this all the time. Like, I hate people. <laughs> That's a pretty general statement. But for the most part, there's just so many people that are gross. They aren't genuine. They aren't what they portray to be. And I just, I got no time. I don't want to make time for that. Like there's this, was this whole fight um, between a couple people, one which I was friends with, one was trying to be friends with me, but I had weird vibes. And she was apparently bad mouthing me. She was bad mouthing a lot of people. Why didn't I tweet about it? Why didn't I talk about it? Why? Give her attention, make her think like she's getting any space in my brain for free. Tip with mascara, let it dry. Resist the urge to smudge the sweat. So like, I'm not gonna let somebody think that they get to live in my brain rent free. So I'm not gonna acknowledge it. My friend, she knows that uh, I support her, luckily. And uh, yeah, that's that on that. <laughs> but you know, it, it can be heartbreaking. Um, I think it's happened a, a couple times where you meet somebody online and you're talking with them. You feel like you get to know them. You're invested in them. And then they turn out to be I know, right? I'm just so lovable more. No. <laughs> okay, I just realized I didn't try this. Maybe I should try. It's a little late. I put mascara on, but I can tell I shouldn't. No, I'm not going to make an opinion before I try it. Um, it's, it can be really upsetting, right? When you find out somebody's not who they've portrayed themselves to be, that transfer you. So see, bougie doesn't always mean better. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. Ah, uh, nope. It's a no-go. It's hard. It's pokey. I don't like it. <laughs> There's my poker face. This would be me trying to give a good review. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This goes on so great as it's gouging out my eyeball. Um, But no, for somebody that... um, I don't know how to say this. 
uh, like you get invested in some of these people that you watch, right? Um, you get to know them, you know their their favorite color, what they like, what they don't like, what your opinions on, all that kind of stuff, right? And then all of a sudden you're half blindsided when you find out that it's an act. And I was so glad that didn't happen on the trip. Bart was so worried about me. He's like, oh my God, like you're going out. And he was so worried that I was going to get there and people were going to think that I was, you know, nobody or weren't going to be nice. So there was going to be all these clicks or anything. And it was, I couldn't have been further from the truth. Like it was, how many times? It was fabulous. Okay, is this dry? Um, I'm gonna take a smudger brush and very gently. Ta-da! I think it would have been a better idea. Of course, I don't have that in my beauty room. So, so it's hard, right? You get burned once and then all of a sudden you're like, it jades you a bit, right? So I'm going in with it's my rider guy. And again, I've told you guys my secret now. If I'm ever reaching forward, that's where all my good stuff is. <laughs> oh, bye, Rose. Love you to bits. I adore. This is a motor brush, too. We got this in Boxy Charm. <laughs> Aw. And it's, she's well loved. She's cracking around the edges and I love this is it's the perfect shade because it's not so light that you get the white cast it's not too dark where you're seeing huge amounts of peach like peach god from Jeffree Star I have that but there's chunks that's a bad descriptive it's not a bad highlighter it's just not my favorite um Nady also has, oh, this was one of my fatalities in shipping. Oh, we've also got platonic, which is silver and is fabulous. How he gets his stuff so soft. Like it's, it's so cool. It looks silver but it's almost got a green oh greenish um oh yeah no i really do like stuff because i buy it black ice look at how dirty the poor girl is this is that changes with temperature i didn't put enough on that's not doing it justice but anyway I know, Nady, he done good. I need them all. I am so excited about his eyeshadow palette coming out. I can't wait. You want one. I know, I know. Um, I don't want to talk out of school, but yeah, I'm sure they're coming. <laughs> I'm sure he'll announce poisonous when they're back in stock and when things are are settled but like it is just the perfect amount of bougie I would bathe in this this looks so bad without my eyebrows done <laughs> at least I got my eyebrows threaded before I went on the trip so at least they're not like Oh, Nady just said, he texted me, if you come in December, you can play with the new palette before anyone else. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. That would be life changing. Oh my gosh. It's, and it's funny, right? Because I joke, like, this is the October boxy charm I was playing with because things are so slow to get to Canada. Can you imagine if I got to play? Life-changing, life-changing. Okay, I'm just gonna put on some quick blush and then I'm gonna try that lip product and then I sign off here in an hour. 
Bye, Smudge. Thanks for stopping by. Sometimes I like to put blush on first and then highlighter. Sometimes it's vice versa because this blush is a little bling bling. I like to go heavy with the highlighter and then diffuse it out with blush. I'm also a lip primer and I hate that Jouer. I keep trying it, giving it another shot. This is it. Nasty, I'm throwing it out right now. Let's use chapstick. We'll go in with this iconic London, and again, it is in color, Sex Kitten. But it does seem like it's going to match the eyes pretty nice. It's gooey. <laughs> oh. Okay. The Kiss Assist is fabulous. I ran out of one I have up here. I, I have another one down in my purse. I, I love it too. Um, okay, you can, you can feel the tingle that it's a lip plumper. I'm waiting to see. Some of them are so obnoxiously painful. I know, right? Look at you. Find something you like. You stick with it. So you have to do the teeth check because Nick, Nick would come, call me. He'd post her on his Twitter. Look at Jamie with lipstick on her teeth. <laughs> Six one, half dozen the other. It's okay. I'm not going to say I hate it. Not going to say I love it. But I've got my Gerard Cosmetics. I love it. Um, and I'm not a big gloss person because if I ever do leave my big Texas hair down, it gets in lip gloss. It's no fun. Nobody likes hair in their mouth. Yeah, it goes away. I like the pigmentation. He's a little bit of, but my lips are a little dry, but I reserve judgment. I'm not going to call it a win loss. And I realized I didn't use these brushes. I have my favorite, I should have used this for highlight actually. My favorite, favorite, favorite blush brush is this It Cosmetics. I don't know if you can still get it or not. It is the perfect size, density, softness. Love it. This wouldn't cut it for me for blush, but anyway, guys, I have a date with my man. Um, it's around noon. I don't know what happens at noon. Why would I make a face like that? Anyway, <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in for my live and I love you all. Thank you for coming, staying, tuning, commenting, like, share, subscribe, that jazz. And until next time, I love you so much. Bye.